Hello, today we are going to learn how to make a flowing watercolor word. So get out your paints, your half full container of cold water, your brushes, and your thicker white paper. You're also going to need paper towel, just in case you spill, or also to clean up your brush. So we're going to fold the paper in half, hamburger, and fold it back and forth a few times. And what's happening is you're weakening this line on the paper, and then you're gonna be able to tear it smoothly. So I'm using my nail, and I'm firmly crisping it, and then I can gently tear it in half. Now I have a half sheet of paper. Decide what word you'd like to make. You could create any word or your name. I am sketching out my word using pencil, and then I'm going to go over it with Sharpie. When I put my paper on top of the Sharpie, I will be able to see through it. I'm writing in a cursive script, but you could also print if that's what you prefer. Now, do you see how you can actually see through the paper? I can see the word create. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my water and use clean water, mine's a little dirty here. And I'm looking at which brush I think would be better to use. And then I'm just going to trace over the first couple of letters with just water. Take your time, do it neatly and beautifully, and then grab a color on your brush and drop the color into the wet area on your paper. And it will just flow. Clean your brush when you switch colors and then use another color. Think about using colors that are next to each other on the color wheel or next to each other on the rainbow. And I'm just going back and letting them flow together a little bit more. If it starts to dry, you can add a little bit more water. You want it to stay wet so that when you drop the color in, the water will, the color will flow. Cursive script works really well for this because all of the letters are connected. So the different colors will flow together really beautifully if you write this in cursive. If you do not know cursive yet, you can do print, or maybe you could ask an adult to help you write a word in cursive script, and then you could trace it.
This project is super fun. You can do a whole bunch of them and experiment with different color schemes. And remember when you're done to clean up your work area. So make sure to keep your paints opened so that they can dry completely before you close them and put them away. And put your painting up high so that it can dry without getting disturbed by your cat or your little brother. Have fun and then take a picture and post it on Seesaw so everyone can see your wonderful work.